Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Design You Marketing. And today I'm going to show you how to optimize your website images on your Wix website. And the rules apply to all the website platforms, but I'm going to show you in Wix. And the three things we're going to be talking about are sizing of the files, the file name, and your alternate text, um, also known as alt text which helps Google read what your photos are. So let's start with sizing. Okay, so I've uploaded two photos from Unsplash and they're just sitting here in a template that I've opened. So I'm gonna click this little icon right here and go down to crop and edit. So it'll open up in the Wix Photo Studio. And if you see right here, right now it's 2,000 by 3,000 pixels, which is very, very large. I'm going to display this pretty small on the website. So I'm going to resize it. And the reason we're making it smaller because smaller images will load faster and it won't weigh down your page. If your website's pages are taking a long time to load, it is not good for search engines or the visitor. So I'm going to make this the width 300. And if I click off on it, it'll um, fill in the height to keep it proportioned. So actually, I'm going to go even a little bit smaller than that. So I'm going to go 200 by 300. And I'm going to click. Oh, just before I go click, it says image compression. Images are auto compressed for the best viewing experience for your site. So Wix compresses the images for you. So resize your image and click apply and save. So in Wix, it'll save a copy um, of the newly sized image. So I'm going to next change the file name because obviously this file name does nothing for me. So I'm going to just click into here and I'm going to call it uh, Sarah's Coffee Shop Espresso with Foam. So when I'm naming my photos, I usually try to incorporate keywords in there because that will help you have visitors find you with what they're typing in Google. Uh, you kind of have to figure out what your customer would type into Google and figure out what keywords they would use to find what you are selling them. So I'm just having this fake Sarah's coffee shop for this little tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to click that and click add to page. Okay, just tell me to save where I go. Okay, so this is the size it came out on. And this is just a template that I'm showing you on just for this tutorial. So just say I put I decide to put it right there. Okay, so next step is you click on the image. And you click settings, it'll pull up this image settings box and if you scroll down right here it's just going to throw your what you named your image so you can click on that and erase it and you're basically telling Google what's in the image and you want to incorporate keywords but you don't want to just list keywords you want it to be concise and tell people what's in the picture because it also is for people that have screen readers that are not able to view the website. They will be able to know what the what's in the picture, which will help them with your product as well. So I'm going to call it espresso in cups with foam design. And you can choose, you know, the what you're going to type in here based on your keywords and what your intent is with your customer. 
Now Wix has this, uh, does this image have, have a tooltip? So the tooltip is what happens if you roll over a photo on the live site. It kind of gives, it's almost like a little caption. So you want to add that as well. Um, you can pretty much say the same thing up here, or if you have another keyword that you want to list there, that's fine too. Um, I'm just going to write espresso cups displayed with foam. Okay, so those are the two things that you want to do in Wix, and then you can, it saves itself, and then you can just X out of it. Okay, so what happens if you've already put all your images on your website and you just want to check to see if uh, you made them optimized? So these pictures in the background on this template are actually background photos. So they're not images that I can drag around like this one. So if you have images that you can drag around, you do the same thing. You click, you click settings, and you fill in your data. But for the background images, you can click on them, make sure they're highlighted, click change strip background, even though you're not going to change it, and go to settings up here. So if you click settings up here and scroll down to the bottom, here is where you add your alt text. And so I would put, you know, uh, man sipping espresso at, oops, at Sarah's coffee shop. Okay, so after you click on that, that's fine, you exit out, and there you go. So if you wanna go through your site and make sure all of your photos have alt text, that will help you out immensely. And um, the power, you know, the power of the images is when people, besides just searching for your services, people use Google Images as well. And they'll, they'll be indexed in Google Images, but you have to tell Google and other search engines what they're looking at. So it can't just be nothing, or it can't be a file name that's, you know, image one, two, three. You have to name your images. You have to put in the alternate text and, and just make sure you size appropriately for your site so your pages load fast and you will be all set. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, you can go to my website, www.designumarketing.com and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you.